So this is the internet speed we have now with the Hiboos connected. Um, running over this, uh, this hotspot. Uh, it has a T-Mobile, Dutch T-Mobile uh, unlimited internet card. If I turn off the high boost and we do the test again, test again. As you can see, the download speed would be uh, doable, but the upload speed is really low. Also, uh, the response time is, uh, is a lot higher. Um, now, this is the T-Mobile um, the card. Uh, the T-Mobile card seems to have a better reception here than my, uh, my Vodafone, my normal telephone. Uh, I think this is because uh, Vodafone has coverage in Portugal also. And it doesn't um, it doesn't switch to uh, to Mayo or to NOS uh, as easily as um, as the T-Mobile would do because T-Mobile doesn't have a network here and it needs to switch to uh, to NOS or Mayo. Um, I'm getting a lot less internet speed and a lot less coverage on my uh, on my Vodafone mobile. Um, but with the high boost, it gets a lot better. So the setup. Uh, let's plug it back in. So this is the uh, High Boost 105S. Uh, I'll show you what I uh, what I bought uh, on the internet. Uh, this is the, um, the amplifier, the amplifier module. I have here now a temporary setup the um, the internal uh, antenna. This goes inside your house most of the time. Uh, I first wanted it to connect to the outside, but if you connect it inside your house and you have a small distance to breach to the outside, it'll work outside also perfectly. It works um, somewhere up to our camp fireplace here. So that's good for us. And then we have the, uh, the external antenna. Um, I already had this pole, it was for a TV antenna and it was actually uh, pointing uh, the same direction as the, um, the outside antenna is now. Uh, I still need to put in uh, the cable uh, through the roof. Um, there is an app and you can um, see what would be the best direction for the antenna. Let's go inside for a minute. Uh, the app is called uh, Signal Supervisor and uh, first I tried to install it on this iPhone, which I'm recording with now, but it doesn't seem to connect uh, the Bluetooth. This, uh, this small point here needs to get green to get a Bluetooth connection. It works up to uh, 5 meters around the device. But on my iPhone with the iOS app, I can't get connection. So you do need to, um, this is Android. I set up uh, an online account at Signal Supervisor uh, because it needs an online account to register your router. And then you can see um, what is the, um, the signal that is coming in. Uh, Highboost has uh, different kinds of um, signal repeaters. Uh, this one was specified for G2, G3 and G4 in the Netherlands. Um, I looked it up on the internet and as far as I could see, Portugal was using the same um, frequencies for the different kind of um, G4, G3 connections and G2 also. Um, but their app uh, supplies a lot more different um, frequencies. So this uh, is only supplying these two meters. Uh, let me jump in here and explain a little bit about the frequency bands and uh, how I checked it. So um, I wasn't sure that uh, a booster I buy in the Netherlands also works uh, on the same frequencies in Portugal. So I checked it. Uh, I went to frequencycheck.com and here on the left side you see a Vodafone Portugal and here on the right side you see a Vodafone Netherlands. And here you can see the different bands that the um, 
the provider is operating on. ASM is just your normal uh, calling. And you see here uh, they use uh, in Holland and in Portugal the same, uh, the same frequencies. So second is the UMTS, that is the um, 3G connection. Uh, you see here that Portugal uses one more uh, band here. I didn't think uh, that would be a problem. It appears not because G3 is uh, working perfect. Uh, and then uh, the last part is the G4. And you see here in Portugal uh, they use exactly the same uh, frequencies. So this gave me confidence that um, the booster I bought in Holland would also uh, work in Portugal. So you can see here I have a super connection. I didn't do much for that because I thought I'd just try uh, to put it in the same direction as the, um, the TV antenna that was there. And luckily <laughs> that worked great already. So yeah, you can see the location I'm in. And uh, as soon as you turn the antenna, the, the signal meters get, um, get stronger or less strong. So it was actually uh, very easy to set up. Um, I had a little difficulty with the iOS app and I, uh, I didn't notice at first that it was, the problem was the iOS app. I installed it on my Android telephone and there it, it nearly worked directly. Uh, and I could, um, could read the meters and see that uh, my connection was already great. <sighs> so that worked out fine. Um, yeah, let me quickly show you uh, the antenna I, uh, I put up. Before the outside antenna, they just put it in here in the corner and then just tied it up with some uh, metal wire. Uh, I created a nice bracket here to hold it in place. So uh, since I got now the right uh, direction, I'm going to tighten these knots. Yeah, so the cable will run here through the tiles of the roof. It's actually a very, uh, very easy setup. Uh, well, I'm an IT guy, so for me it's easy, but I think also for uh, the hardest part is installing the antenna. It's not the, the technical stuff uh, on getting it uh, on the right spot or installing the app. It's just like you need a good pole uh, to put it on. The requirement for this booster is that you at least have uh, two bars of uh, cell phone reception. Um, down here I only had one but up here it's at least uh, two or three bars. So that works perfectly. So yeah I can highly recommend it. The, um, these boosters are um, quite expensive. I have one that covers, uh, I think, 250 meters. But yeah, if you have uh, walls in the house, it cuts it back uh, really drastically because we can go maybe uh, 50 meters outside of the house. Uh, and the house is only five meters. <laughs> um, there are also, uh, this one was about 600 euros. I'll show you on the website. Uh, you have them uh, for uh, also a thousand meters, but they're going to cost you more than a thousand bucks. So it depends on your uh, on your needs. I could supply uh, one, one one of those. I could supply the whole village with uh, with good uh, G four internet. You could hook it, hook the internal antenna to this pole, and then the whole village, <laughs> the whole village gets uh, G G four uh, four bars. Or five, depending on where you're at. Um, yeah, quick, easy. If you have any questions, um, maybe I can help. Just leave them in the comments. And uh, if you'd like to follow along the rest of my uh, Portugal uh, journey, follow the Portugal project. Bye. Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal project. If you want to follow the Portugal project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook. 
or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at The Portugal Project.